Amazing verse. Allah is telling those who are captive that if Allah knows that your hearts have goodness in them, Allah will give you more than what was taken away from you and He will forgive you because from among those captives, there were those who later turned to the deen of Allah and Allah knew it already. Some of them wanted to be Muslim, but they did not want to be Muslim giving the impression that we are afraid because we are captives. So they waited until they were released. Then they came back and declared their faith to say we are released, but we actually love this faith of Allah. I want to tell you if the, if the disbelieving a day for you and a day against you. If you think that but I cheated them back. Is that good enough? No. You say, well, I took it in my stride. I tried to get it back. I fought this person in all permissible ways that I could. And I managed to get back some things. I didn't manage to get back something. And I excused the person about something. It depends what they cheated you off and what value it was and how much it meant to you. Two wrongs do not make a right. But on the day of judgment, you are going to be asked, did you ever suffer a loss? The answer is yes, all of us suffered a loss one way or another. Did you ever go through divorce? Not all of us, but some of us, a lot of us. The percentage is increasing, am I right? Divorce, is it not increasing? Is divorce increasing or decreasing? It's increasing. Even those who are not married are saying it's increasing. <laughs> May Allah forgive us. May Allah grant us ease. I was waiting for that. But yes, it is increasing. It's scary. But when you go through it, take it in your stride. It's not the first divorce. It's not the last divorce. If you have children, you need to make sure you navigate properly because one of the biggest disturbances that you cause in the life of the children is when you use them as a tool of tug of war between the two warring ex-spouses. Don't use them in order to fight your spouse. You're not going to see your kids again. They're not your kids either. They belong to Allah. You cried for them. That's why they came. You begged Allah to have children. Now you have children. You're saying they are mine. Then whose are they? They belong to Allah. Allah gave you temporary custodianship of the children. My brothers and sisters, you have to understand your every move is being watched, not just by Allah Almighty. Those around you are watching. They are seeing that type of passive dawah. All of us have to be an agent of it. That type of silent, unspoken dawah to start with. Why would someone ever want to listen to you? Why would someone ever want to hear you talk to them? Because something has to have attracted them about you initially. What was it? It was good character, good conduct. You show, I know when I meet a person, I always say, hello, good afternoon, good morning, have a good day. I hope you're okay. Is everything, can I give you a hand? And they are like just shocked looking at me, oh guy, you were supposed to be a terrorist. You have a big beard, it might just explode. SubhanAllah. This is not dynamite, by the way. That's how they, they are surprised. Then they look, what have you done? You've already destroyed a huge misconception in their hearts. Say for example, you are dressed in your hijab. People are giving you dirty looks in some circles. And you are the one who comes out to offer help. You are the one who comes out to offer some form of assistance, maybe to smile, to perhaps greet someone good morning, good afternoon. I hope you're okay and so on. Is everything all right? What will happen? Wallahi, their perceptions change deep down when they are discontent everyone goes through phases of discontentment when they are discontent your image will appear in their minds and hearts to say i met someone who was really really content even though they are persecuted or semi-persecuted who are the most persecuted people on earth they are the muslims the most persecuted they are looked down upon they are randomly selected to be harassed everywhere in the world Everywhere in the world, Muslims are looked down upon. Yet they are the most content people. They are the happiest. They are probably the most successful in so many different spheres and aspects of life. So it doesn't mean that because people don't like you, you are not successful. Because people have a preconceived idea. This age, we are living in an age of 
media, social media, and what happens? You will realize 